Welcome to our YouTube channel Experience Tutor. Today we'll discuss NCRT solution for class 11th Physics Chapter 3 Motion in a Straight Line Part 1. And here is our welcome message. Before we begin, we have a small request. Please subscribe, like and share our channel. Please click on the subscribe button to support us. Then click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded. We have more than we have hundred hundreds of videos in our channel. It will be very difficult to you for you to search them. So if you click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon you can automatically get no notification for the new videos which we will upload so that you can click on this notification and directly see our videos now let us begin with the chapter so The first question is in which of the following example of motion can the body be considered approximately a point ob object. So in the first case it is said that a railway carriage moving without jerk between two stations. The size of the carriage is very small as compared to the distance between the two stations. Therefore, the carriage can be treated as a point size object. Therefore, A is correct. Second option, a monkey sitting on the top of a man cycling smoothly on a circular track. The size of the monkey is very small as compared to the size of the circular track. Therefore, the monkey can be considered as a point size object on the track. Therefore, option B is also correct. C. A spinning cricket ball that turns sharply on heating the ground. The size of the spinning cricket ball is, comparative, is comparable to the distance through which it turns sharply on heating the ground so it is not so small it is comparable size hence the cricket ball cannot be considered as a point object so c is false d the size of, uh, the tumbling baker a tumbling baker that has slipped off the edge of the table of a table the size of the beaker compared to the height of the table from which it slipped is comparable. Hence, the beaker cannot be considered as a point object. So, if we so the answer is so the an correct answer is A and B. Now let us move to the next question. Now let us see the next sum. The position time time x versus t graph of two children a and b returning from their school on their home school o to their home p and q respectively are shown in figure 3.19 choose the correct entries in the bracket below a. A or B lives closer to the school than B or A. 
So let us see the graph and decide A or B who lives closer to the school. So if we see the graph, x versus t, it can be observed that op is smaller than oq. So, op is smaller than OQ. Hence, the distance of school from A's home is less than that of B's home. So, let us write it. Two point two in the graph it can be observed Observe that OP is smaller than OQ. Hence, the distance of school from the A's home is less than that of of B's home. So this is the first part of the question. Now let us see the second part of the question B. A or B starts from the school earlier then B or A. Fine. So let us see the graph. In the given graph, we can see that from x is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0 for A. Whereas for x is equal to 0 and t has some finite value for B. Thus, A starts his journey from school earlier than B. So, here A starts here and B starts here. After this much time. After this much time. So, it starts earlier. So, let us Note it down. In the given graph, 
in the given graph it can be observed that starting point of A is x is equal to 0 t is equal to 0 starting point point of B is x is equal to 0 and t is equal to some finite value some finite value therefore we can say that a start his journey therefore a starts his journey journey earlier earlier then b let us see the next part c a or b walks faster than b or a let us see the graph in the given x versus t graph we can observe that the slope of B is greater than the slope of A. So, if you me measure this angle, this is a slope. And if you measure this angle, the slope of B is greater than slope of A. And we know that in distance time graph, slope represents the speed. Since slope of B is greater than slope of A, therefore speed of B is uh, greater than speed of A. So let us write it down. C. In a 
x versus t graph. The slope represents the speed since the slope of B is greater than slope of A therefore therefore speed of B is greater than that of speed of A So let us see the next part of the problem. D. A and B reach home at the same or different time. So let us see the graph again. So, From the graph, you can see that A reached home by this time, A and B reached home by this time, but there is a difference of this time. So you can say that A and B reached home their home at the same time if you subtract this initial difference so you can say that a and b rest home at the same time so let us note it down a and b reached home at the same time. Next part is E. A or B overtakes B or A on the road once or twice. Now let us see the graph again. So in the graph from the graph B moves later than A and his or her speed is greater than A. From the graph, it is clear that B overtakes A only once on the road. How come? The overtake 
position is the point of intersection this one here b overtakes a when at a distance of this and in this time say time is t1 then at t1 b overtakes a if the distance is say x1 at a distance of x1 b overtakes a so let us note it down b moves later than a a with more with greater speed speed then that of a from the graph graph it is clear it is clear that B overtakes A takes A only once so this is the complete question oh, question number 2 now let us This is the end of this class. We'll see rest of the question in other different classes. Therefore, we ask you to support us by subscribing, liking and sharing this channel. Please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon so that you can get an automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching our videos. Keep supporting us. Thank you very much.